Hi, I'm Proofman from Overclocking TV and today I will explain you how to overclock this system right here up to 4 GHz. Uh, today we are using a G3258 CPU from Intel. This one is the, the special Intel Pentium Anniversary Editions. We're using a Z97X Power AC mainboard from MSI. We're using the Cooler Master V1200 uh, PSU, it's a Platinum PSU from Cooler Master. We are using Trident X 8GB kit from JSkill. We are using the MSI GeForce GTX 750Ti, so it's an NVDA GPU on it. And we are also using the HyperX 120GB SSD. Uh, this is from uh, Kingston. So right now, as you can see here, it's like 25 degrees uh, Celsius here in my room, in my testing room. Uh, this is actually the default cooler you can have with the G3258 and we are trying to overclock this with regular air cooling like anyone can do it up to 4 GHz. So in, let me switch back to the computer. If we look at what we have on the screen is, uh, here is my, uh, my desktop. Uh, what I want to show you is the actual frequency uh, running on these computers. Right now it's all by default so it's like I just bought everything out of the shop plug that right in in my computer on my desk and this is what you get out of the box. A 3.2 gigahertz CPU so that's the G3258 right here and although my memory is at uh, 800 megahertz so that's like a 1600 megahertz memory. So let's find out what we can do with this. We will be using the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. This tool is designed especially by Intel to allow people to change some settings and also uh, benchmark what, uh, what we need. So the most important part for us is the benchmarking tab. You have uh, system information where you can have information about your systems. You can have manual tuning where you can change some of the settings according to uh, the different uh, settings you want in your computers. A uh, stress test is to check if everything is stable. And the most important things for us is benchmarking. Uh, let's run the benchmark and explain what's going on at the same time. So what is a benchmark? A benchmark is a workflow, like a load on your computer, like a calculation that it needs to be done. It's always exactly the same one. And with this, you can actually compare different uh, settings and different uh, uh, computer with each other. So it's like, let's say you count from one to 10 and the one that count the faster uh, gain more points. So we will uh, let the benchmark run. It's, it's taking between two and six minutes, depending on the performances of your computer. And we'll come back in, uh, in a few seconds to see what's happening. So the benchmark is still running and it's close to finish now. What we are doing is to, co to compare the actual performances of this computer right out of what you can buy from the shop and see how we can improve that over time by overclocking the CPU. So let's switch back to the computers. The benchmark is finished by now. It's 236 marks, so that's uh, the amount of points we have. Uh, our CPU is actually running at 3.2 gigahertz and the memory frequency is uh, about uh, 1600 megahertz. Um, this is the default performances for this CPU and this computer at this time. So right now we'll shut down this and reboot and try to overclock up to four gigahertz. So let's quit and restart. So we press Dell. So here is the BIOS of the Z97 uh, mainboard, the D97 X Power AC mainboard from MSI. Uh, there is a few settings we want to change to be sure that we can overclock uh, as much as we want. I will go quickly into it. I want to deactivate some of the um, special smart settings features of the CPU. So for example, here it, it says simple or advanced mode. I can say advanced, but that is not a big issue. Here I want to put, let's say, 4 gigahertz. I don't want the EIST, that's the Intel Speedstep technology. This is a technology that uh, will allow you to lower the CPU frequency and lower the multiplier 
to save power and also to eat less. So when the, your CPU is not used for anything, it's just slowing down by itself. And when you need it, just overclock back to what it is, uh, what is needed. So we want to deactivate or disable this. Uh, what else can we do? We also want to fix the CPU ratio. Uh, the the difference between uh, the why we do want to have fixed that means it will stay always at uh, 40 multiplier. The way we obtain the uh, CPU frequency is uh, taking the bus frequency, multiplying that by the multiplier. So let's say you have a base frequency of 100. That is actually what is uh, um, most of the time used for uh, the latest CPU from Intel and you have the multiplier let's say the f default settings was 32 so it's like 32 times 100 that's 3200 so that's 3.2 gigahertz uh, now we want to go to 4 gigahertz so we put 40 times 100 and it's like 4 gigahertz let's go back to the screen what else do we want to deactivate? Uh, the ring ratios can stay like this. Everything else can stay like this. Uh, the DRAM frequency. Our memory can actually do uh, DDR3 2400. Uh, 2400 sorry. So let's say we put 2400 here because we know that the memory we are using, the G-Skill Trident X, are actually capable of doing that. Uh, you're not. You're not obliged to change the settings right here you can actually just leave everything in auto restart and see what's going on so this is actually quite simple by now I want to deactivate just a few things uh, in the CPU features uh, we want to be sure that all the cores are activated I want to disable the C states I want to disable the thermal monitors you're not um, you can keep that uh, uh, on if you want, but it will just save you trouble uh, if your overclocking is not going through. All this will be okay. Disable the limitation, disable the limitation, keep this in auto. Uh, should be fine by now. So this is how the, the settings we will be using uh, for our try to 4 GHz. Uh, maybe it will work, maybe not. Uh, if you want to save, we just save the settings in the BIOS and uh, we can uh, then reuse that later. So let's say I want to say uh, to save here, save overclocking profile, yes. Uh, with this, uh, that means that if my computer crash and it's not working, I can just start again, uh, clear the settings, start again and reload the settings if I want. So next time I can boot, I will see what's going on. So let's go to the hardware monitor now. As we are overclocking, it could be interesting to change the, the way our fan speed is. So right now we are just using the default CPU cooler, but maybe I want to have more than that. So let's say I want to set everything at full speed, so all the fans I want them to go as much as they can, as fast as they can. Up, that's fine. And now, loop. I want F10, so that's to save the configuration and reset. You say yes, and that will reboot the configuration, and that will try to reboot the configuration at 4 gigahertz. Let's see if this is working. We are now back on the desktop. We're supposed to be at 4 gigahertz, so we'll check right now with CPU-Z. Uh, CPU-Z is the tool we uh, mostly use to check the CPU and memory frequency. As you can see, we are right now at 4 gigahertz. It's 40 times 100. So actually it's like 99.99, .99, but it's like 100. And if we, like the, if we look at the memory, oh, the memory is like 1200, so that means 2. 2400 uh, the memory frequency. <clears throat> so right now we're at 4 gigahertz. We're still using the basic CPU cooler we can we, you have with the uh, you buy when the CPU. It's actually like 26 degrees in the 26 degrees C 
uh, in my room here so let's see if uh, we can test again the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility we call that Intel XTU to see the improvement in performances for that uh, but as you can see the 4 GHz is detected here and let's run the benchmark the benchmark is running and you, you can see in the bottom right here you have the CPU utilization you also have the CPU core temperature and the frequencies um, why do we graph these three? the first reason to graph the CPU utilization is to see that the CPU is uh, under heavy load so it's calculating a lot of things uh, the CPU core temperature is actually quite interesting to see um, to not go uh, too high to damage the CPU uh, there is a very little risk you can damage your CPU just by the heat uh, this is because if it's getting too hot it will slow down itself by itself by, as a protection but we did deactivate that uh, as a rule of thumb just don't go over 90 degrees uh, 95 degrees, 90 degrees C uh, uh, on your CPU uh, above that, uh, there are some risks that it will actually throttle, and the throttling is how it reduces itself to uh, see, to not eat that much. And the last time, why we do have the frequency here? Because when we have the speed step or the turbo boost uh, mode enabled, the, the the CPU frequency can change according to the load. So we'll wait until the end of this benchmark and see what are the improvements we just made in the last few minutes. Now that we did overclock to 4 GHz, we are having a score of 296 marks. So I'm gonna save these settings to G3258 at 4 GHz. It's already some of my uh, settings right here. Save, yes. And if I want to find back the, pr the different profile I use, uh, as you can see on the right, uh, the thing I use are saved as well as the score. So if I want to go back to a certain score or a certain settings, I can still jump by it, uh, by it with the profiles. So as you can see, we are at 4 gigahertz. We're still using the uh, CPU cooler that is sold with the system. Um, if we want to overclock more, we can actually uh, press some of the button on the main board. Um, MSI have some special button on the main board to overclock the, the systems. So if I push up, it's 41 then if I push up again it's again 42 so that's 4.2 gigahertz thank you guys for watching this video I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV don't forget to find us on Twitter at Overclocking TV on Facebook as well on our Twitch channel and on our website and don't forget until then keep pushing it